Hello, hello, my friends. This is Laura again, and this is Rezi. I'm here today to read you a new book. This book's name is Listening With My Heart. This book talks about being kind to others and being kind to ourselves as well. Are you ready? Here we go. Esperanza's tummy fluttered as she practiced her lines on the porch. Today was the class play. Waiting for Mama to walk with her to school, she paced back and forth when she spotted a heart-shaped rock. Esperanza picked it up and showed it to Mama as soon as she stepped outside. I see you found a little treasure, said Mama. Esperanza rubbed its rough surface and felt a twinkle of joy. Maybe it's a sign. For what? asked Mama. She thought about the class play later that afternoon, wondering what it would finally be like in the spotlight. To put my heart into everything I do, she answered. At the moment, they heard scratching and a soft cry. Esperanza peeked under the stairs and spotted a kitty shaking and shivering. No mama inside. She scooped the kitten onto her lap and cuddled her. She's all alone. I think she's hungry. Esperanza reached for her lunch bag, pinched a piece of chicken, and offered it to the kitty, who gobbled it up. Mama, I think the rug is a reminder to spread kindness and love. That's what we do when we listen with our hearts. I think you're on to something, said Mama. Can we keep clear cut, please? asked Esperanza, who, or, who, who already named the kitten. Queens are always welcome at our house, said Mama. If she's still here after school, we'll take her in. At school, Esperanza was more focused on the play than on math or reading. Clutching her script during recess, she noticed Bayo sitting alone on a bench. He was a new he was new in school this week and didn't speak much English. She wondered if he felt alone or scared. Esperanza found a soccer ball and kicked it over to him. A smile spread across Bayo's face. He stood, popped the ball in the air and bounced it between his knee and his head a few times. Dudes got moves, thought Esperanza. They spent recess giggling and making up hand signs. Afterwards, Esperanza borrowed Miss Owen's English Vietnamese dictionary. She wrote friend in Vietnamese, drew a picture of Bayou and her, and then she put it on his desk. Esperanza rubbed the rock in her pocket. Listening with her, with her heart made her feel peaceful inside. Finally, it was time for the performance. It was too late for Bayo to be in the play, but he stood at Miss Owen's side as a stagehand. Excitement bubbled as Esperanza awaited her cue. Esperanza walked on stage, tripped as she was about to say her first line, and splattered across the stage. When she got up, she forgot her lines, so Miss Owens, Miss Owen whispered them to her from backstage. Heat rushed through Esperanza's body as all eyes were glued to her. She wished she, wished she could disappear. I ruined the play, thought Esperanza, rushing off stage as soon as she'd finished her part. I messed up in front of everyone. She tucked herself in behind some props so no one would see her. Esperanza noticed her body shaking and her face still burning. She took a deep breath and dug the rock out of her pocket. It was cracked and lopsided, just how she felt. 
Esperanza touched her hand to her heart and felt the disappointment. Bayo found Esperanza a few minutes later and handed her a drawing with the word friend written above. Esperanza nodded. She hadn't been treating herself like a friend. Esperanza realized that this wasn't the first time she should be unkind to herself. At the soccer game last weekend, she missed the ball that swooshed by her head and they lost the game. Nice work, a player from the other team yelled as the others laughed. Esperanza thought she'd let her team down and was the worst soccer player in the world. Thinking those thoughts had made her feel worse. At the curtain call, Esperanza reminded herself she hadn't ruined the play. She had had an accident, and accidents happen to everyone. Listening with her, with her heart wasn't just about giving kindness and love to others. It was about giving to herself, too. I can be a friend to myself, thought Esperanza. When Esperanza got home, she focused on her favorite things. She zipped down the hill on her bike and spent the afternoon painting at the kitchen table. She also got the hug she needed from Mama. Some cuddles from Cleocatra. And this is the end for today. My friends, always, always remember to be kind to yourself as you are being kind to others. And it's very, very important to be kind to people because why not? I'll see you next week with a new book. Enjoy your day.